Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. I am Pastor Bridget Ogbefo, inviting you to join me every Friday at 6 a.m. on the Tobago Inspirational Network for Gateway to Life, where we explore the Word of God through the help of the Spirit of God. Lunchtime just got better. Get Fed Delights brings you a taste of Africa. Located at the redeemed Christian Church of God Compound, Lowlands, Tobago. Visit us every Friday for your authentic Nigerian cuisine, such as jollof rice, fried plantains, Nigerian stew beef, fish and chicken, pounded yam with ikusi, moi moi, chin chin, pepper soup and so much more. Call us 752-3660 to place your order. Lunchtime just got better. Come and get fed. I bring you greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. I am Pastor Bridget Ogbeifon, and I am so excited to be here again. And I know that God has something in store for you and I. Even as we go into his word, I know there's something awesome that will be lifted from this letter into our spirits today whatever time of the day it is that you may be watching me on any form of device or hearing the sound of my voice i know that god will bless you real good shall we pray father in the name of jesus i thank you for this beautiful moment that you have made i thank you for what you are doing in our lives as individuals lord i thank you because you have chosen to count us amongst the living Ah, it is marvelous in our eyes. And Lord, I've come to say thank you, mighty and everlasting Father. Today, as I open my mouth to be used of you, I ask that you will speak through me in a new way today. That these souls, these souls hearing the sound of my voice will indeed encounter you through these words that you'll be speaking through my mouth this moment in the name of jesus father i thank you come against every spirit in the atmosphere that steals that kills that destroys come against every bird spiritual bird that comes to pick the world as it is so father i come against every works of darkness that will not cause this world to take root in the lives and the heart of the hearers in the mighty name of jesus thank you for this vessel of honor Tobago Inspirational Network, that as you continue to use them to herald your name, as you use them to pronounce your glory, as you use them to announce your greatness, that they will not go down in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Is there any man, any woman, any boy, any girl out there right now who is desperately in need of deliverance i ask oh god that that will come their way even as they hear this word today in the mighty name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name i've prayed amen so again you're welcome to gateway to life and it's such a beautiful day I'm so excited because God has been faithful. He's been an awesome God. He does marvelous things and I am so appreciated. So today, by the help of the Spirit of God, I want to charge you, admonish you on what I tie to the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. So today we will be looking at that very shortly, the blood of Jesus. We want to see what about the blood of Jesus. We want to look at the efficiency of the blood of Jesus. We want to look at the efficacy of the blood of Jesus. We want to look at the potency of the blood of Jesus. We want to look at the power in the blood of Jesus. And I believe that as we continue to go into the world, something will be sowed in your spirit a seed will be dropped in your spirit that by the spirit of god will germinate on to good works in the mighty name of jesus so what about the blood of jesus we are going to be looking at the efficiency 
the efficiency of that blood once again the title is the blood of jesus and we are going to be looking at what do we stand to get through this blood why is this blood different from any other kind of blood let me quickly take you back a little bit you know just to um, summarize you know in the days of old before jesus came to give his life for you and i on the cross of calvary uh, the people of old in the Bible days, they had a way of atonement of sin. And in, in, in that, they would usually kill a living creature, you know, to atone for their sins. It depends on what is required of them, depending on what the sin they may have committed is. It could be two turtle doves, it could be, you know, a, a sheep, it could be, you know, it depends on what the chief priest would ask them to bring but there must be a shedding of blood the bible says without the shedding of blood there shall be no remission of sin and the same bible says the life of a thing is in the blood so in those days when people fall short of the glory they would have to atone for their sin through the blood of through the blood you know of a living creature until when Jesus came and gave his blood once and for all, the blood that no turtle dove can match up with, the do blood that no turtle can match up with, the blood that no sheep, no lamb could match up with, the blood that supersedes every kind of blood. And that's the blood of Jesus. So for our main text today, I want us to look at the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9 from verse 11. It's going to be a bit long, but just follow me as we look at it today. We are looking at the topic, the blood of Jesus. And look at what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9 and from verse 11. It says, but Christ being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Verse 13, but if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctify it to the purification of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? I want to go further a little bit more. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament and by the means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Hallelujah. Look at verse 16. For where a testament is, there must also be of necessity the death of that testator. Look at verse 17. For a testament is of force after men. I'll take that again. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all why the testator leave it. So if you follow this scripture, the Bible made us to understand in order for the blood of Jesus to have the supreme power that it had, the Bible says the testator of a testament would have to live, you know, for that blood that he left behind to, to carry weight. So Jesus came, he appeared 100% man, 100% God. And he went on that cross and died and shed that blood on the cross of Calvary. And the Bible made us to understand he had to die so that his work, so that this testament that he had brought will make meaning. Hallelujah. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. That's to show you the significance of blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and goats with water 
and scarlet wool and book and all the people saying this is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoined unto you verse 21 says moreover be sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry and almost all things are by the law poured with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission when you keep reading you see the bible keeps explaining over and over the importance of blood the bible says that a living thing is of no significance without the blood so all that makes Jesus Jesus apart from him being the son of God apart from him being you know the 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 the, 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 the son of God made manifest in human flesh the highest thing the major thing that makes a living being alive is the blood so the life actually is in the blood so what made Jesus on earth was that blood that ran in his feet as you see the reason why even medically once people run out of blood for example involved in an accident and they begin to bleed and all the blood run out of their system there is nothing the doctors can do the person goes into shock eventually a heart attack and that will mark the end because there's no blood what do they do instead they fight tooth and nail to ensure that they are able to control the bleeding so that they are able to stop that person from bleeding because they know that what makes that person who they are as far as the human anatomy is concerned is the blood so they protect it by all means. What am I saying today? The power that makes Jesus who he is, is in the blood. One of the things that makes Jesus a force that the, the kingdom of darkness cannot stand against is his blood. Everything that makes him God is embedded in that blood. And so when he was living, he left, as we read in Hebrews chapter 9, where we just read, the Bible made us to understand that for a testament to be valid, the testator must die. And that testament will be valid. Jesus had to leave the earth so that his blood, his left behind, his blood was shed on this earth. His blood ran from his side, ran from his hands, ran from his feet ran from his head his blood was shed on this earth as a testament showing that we have been equipped by the uh, by the powers that cannot be withstand by any power from the pit of hell hallelujah so the blood of jesus is a potent weapon what have i come to tell you today the blood of jesus is a spiritual weapon don't let anyone deceive you I've had people have seen it on some social media platforms when people say no you cannot you cannot plead the blood of Jesus you cannot you cannot call on the blood of Jesus because and they try to and they and they try to you know support these sayings with the scriptures when the Bible clearly made us understand it says that without the shedding of blood there cannot be remission of sins when your sins are not remitted then spiritually you are still in the analog age spiritually you are not up to date when your sins has not been remitted by the blood you are not on par you are not up to date you are not where you should be because with sin in your life you will not be able to operate the way that God has ordained you to be upon the face of the earth. So my dear brothers and sisters, the blood of Jesus is a potent spiritual weapon. Do not be deceived. It is a way, it is a very effective weapon against the enemy and it never fails. Have you ever been in situations where even in your sleep, I've had people testify in your sleep, you have all manner of things coming to attack you in your sleep. You have different creatures, some even testify, they have creatures coming to press them while they are sleeping. And just the mention of the blood of Jesus, they gain victory. Even in the realm of the unconscious, the blood of Jesus is still potent. 
The blood of Jesus is that card that the enemy cannot withstand. It's just like a referee showing a player that red card on the field of play. No matter how influential that player is, no matter how good that player is, you must obey and quit that game. The blood of Jesus is like that red card that the referee will lift up. It doesn't matter. Let me shock you. The little knowledge I have about football, do you know, even if the referee lifts up that red card in error, it should be obeyed. Once he lifts up the red card, the player must leave the pitch, must leave the field. Because why? A man who is authorized to use it has used it at the time he didn't feel. It might be contested later. I mean, with now that they have this new technology, they will go by the side of the field to watch it over, you know, on the side screen and all that. Yes, but at that time you must obey. It, it could be contested later. So it is in the realm of the spirit. When you lift up the blood of Jesus, the enemy has no say. They must obey because you are authorized at that time to be in possession of that blood. Why? Because Jesus completed his job. He came and he died as a testator and he left that testament for you to be able to inherit and to use. So the blood of Jesus is a potent weapon. What are the things the blood of Jesus can do? Numerous things, numerous things the blood of Jesus can do. You know, that, that, that is the blood that cannot get finished. It cannot be used out. It cannot be, it, 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 you can't run out of the blood once you have the access to the Spirit of God. And you know how to call upon him at all times. That blood cannot fail. The blood of Jesus is a booster. The blood of Jesus will boost your confidence. Not just spiritually, even physically. When you are in connection with that blood in the way that you should be, you cannot be timid. You cannot put your head down because you are not confident. With the blood of Jesus, you have the spiritual buoyancy that is inexplicable. The blood of Jesus. How do I know that? Let's quickly see the same Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10. We want to look at verse 16. We are talking about the blood of Jesus. And we are talking about the power in the blood of Jesus. And how that you and I have been equipped to be able to use this blood. Look at what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 16 to 19. Look at what it says. It says, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, said the Lord. I will put the laws into their heart and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now, where remission of this, of this is, there is no more offering for sin. Haven't therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. What does the Bible say? It says, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter. So the blood of Jesus births boldness. The blood of Jesus is an energizer. The blood of Jesus will boost you up. The blood of Jesus will give you, you know, the kind of upliftment and, the, you know, that feeling of confidence that nothing else can give to you. I always tell people, humorously, I tell my friends, I said the people in the world, especially entertainers, all these musicians and all of them, they depend on one form of drug or the other. They depend on one form of energizer or the other, things that make them feel high for the moment. And I humorously tell my friends, I said, when I have to minister in any way, I take a shot of the blood. I take a shot of the blood of Jesus and nothing else makes you feel high, higher than that. When you have the blood of Jesus walking in the Holy Ghost, you are unstoppable. 
no drug or any kind of tranquilizer or any form i'm not good with those names right any kind of thing that makes you feel high nothing can beat the blood of jesus so i tell them i want to minister sometimes i'm timid sometimes i am nervous sometimes i i don't even know how to start i take a shot of the blood i play the blood of jesus and i go right on and trust me he takes me to that level because the word of God says, he says that God, Jesus is sitting in heaven, heavenly places and where he is, there will I be also. Where else can be higher than the heavenly? So you don't need drugs that will damage your system, your liver, your kidneys and all of that. What you need is the blood of Jesus. And I've come to announce him to, the blood is free. You don't have to spend a fortune. All you need, Romans 10, 9 and 10, if any man shall confess the Lord Jesus, Bible says he shall be saved. It says for the mouth, man confess unto righteousness. He said, for with the heart man believeth, and with the mouth confession is made, even unto salvation. That is all you need. You don't need to spend no fortune. You don't need to spend your money. You don't need to damage your body, injecting yourselves with all kind of things. There is something in the blood of Jesus that will take you to a place you have never been in your entire life. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Like we just said, read here, the Bible says that you have the boldness to go into anywhere because of the blood of Jesus. That's what I'm speaking to you today. Do you have a connection with that blood? Because not every and everybody is authorized to use the blood. You remember the little illustration with the referee on the football field I just made? Not any and anybody could use the red card. On the football field, you have those you call the linesmen who have the little um, flag who would raise it up if somebody going offside or something like that. Those men, they have their own authority. They cannot have access to those cards that the referee will have in his pocket, the yellow card and the red card. You know why? Because they are not authorized to do it. Let me shock you. If any of the linesmen run in the middle of the field while the match is going on and they lift up a right card, I don't think that a player is bound to obey. It. I don't think. I said I don't think because I am not a master in that field. But they are not bound to, to respect it. Because it's not the referee. So it, the same in the realm of the spirit. If you use the blood unauthorized, the enemy will not obey. And let me tell you, not only will they not obey, you will get deeper in hot soup. That was what happened to the seven sons of Sceva. They attempted to use that red card unauthorized. And the players in that field of life dealt them serious blows because they were attempting to use the blood. They were attempting to use the card unauthorized. But I've come to tell you today, there is a way you can get to the position of that referee. There is a way you will get to the position of that man who is in charge of managing that particular match. And you have the authority to use your red card at the time that is deemed appropriate and nobody will challenge you but everybody will obey your decision to reduce the card at the time you do the blood of jesus is much more powerful the blood of jesus cleanses from sin the blood of jesus cleanses from unrighteousness that is what is recorded in the book of first john chapter 1 and verse 9 i want us to quickly see hallelujah telling you what the blood of jesus can do for you the most exciting thing while i was preparing for this the thing that jumped out to me the spirit of god just reminded me the blood of jesus is free hallelujah god is a good god look at what the bible says in first john first john chapter one and verse nine it says if we confess our sins he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness for you to be able to cleanse there must be a cleaning agent the blood of jesus is not just a cleaning agent it is a weapon 
that you could use. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is potent. The blood of Jesus is expensive. It's not cheap. It is expensive. And so he, it never fades. <laughs> it never loses value. It is of, you know, it is, it is something that have inestimable value. It cannot go out of vogue. The blood of Jesus cannot fade away. You cannot say you have a jewelry, you know, that is not made from real gold. You know, um, after a while, you know, it, it begins to uh, depreciate. The value begins to go down. The blood of Jesus is not like that. It's much more of more value, even than, even more than gold. The blood of Jesus cannot fade. It's as potent as it was thousands of years ago. It's still as potent as it was even now. The blood of Jesus cannot, it, 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 it cannot fail in its power. If you have it, you have it. If it is on, in operation, it is in operation. You don't need to renew it. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. You don't need to renew the blood of Jesus. You only need to have an access to it. Once you have the access, you have the access. Hallelujah. So the blood of Jesus is the voice that speaks better things than that of Abel. The blood of Jesus does not speak condemnation. So are you feeling rejected? Are you feeling alone? Are you feeling left by yourself? The blood of Jesus can give you value. The blood of Jesus is the blood that speaks better things than that of Abel. You know, the Bible made me to understand in Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. I think then it says this, Therefore now no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. And the Bible made me to understand that in the book of Genesis, I believe in chapter 4 thereabout as I wrap up, we all know the story of Cain and Abel. And so when um, Cain had, you know, killed the brother, the Bible says that God went to Cain, asked for the brother, and he was like, am I my brother's keeper? And God said, the voice of your brother keeps crying out. What was the voice of Abel crying for vengeance, for revenge? Because when you read further down, it tells us that God laid a curse on the brother because he killed Abel. But that's not what the blood of Jesus does. The blood of Jesus speaks life. It speaks righteousness into your life. It gives you power. It makes you ride above the enemy, no matter how hard they try. I will come back next time and take the concluding part of this message. But wherever you are, if you've heard the sound of my voice today, desire to have an encounter with the blood because the blood saves. And until I come back next time, shalom. Lunchtime just got better. Get Fed Delights brings you a taste of Africa. Located at the redeemed Christian Church of God Compound, Lowlands, Tobago. Visit us every Friday for your authentic Nigerian cuisine, such as jollof rice, fried plantains, Nigerian stew beef, fish and chicken, pounded yam with igusi, moi moi, chin chin, pepper soup, and so much more. Call us 752-3660 to place your order. Lunchtime just got better. Come and get fed. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. I am Pastor Bridget Ogbefun, inviting you to join me every Friday at 6 a.m., on the Tobago Inspirational Network for Gateway to Life, where we explore the Word of God through the help of the Spirit of God.